Hi, I'm Timothy, and I'm a third year student majoring in mechanical engineering at CU Boulder. Today, we are going to talk about a particular kind of work as defined by physical scientists and used by engineers. According to engineering and science, work is the energy it takes to move an object. Work is mathematically defined as force applied to an object multiplied by the distance the object moved. What is one thing we want to accomplish whenever we have to do work? We want our work to be easier. Finding ways to make work easier is what drives people to invent better machines. Machines allow us to do many things quicker or with less effort. They also enable us to do things that we otherwise would not be able to do. Just as bricks are an essential part of a brick home, they are fundamental parts of machines as well. These fundamental parts are known as simple machines. Simple machines can exist on their own and are also sometimes hidden in the mechanical devices around you. There are six simple machines that can be found in many everyday items. Incline plane. An incline plane is a ram that reduces the force needed to move an object. Consequently, the object must travel a longer distance. Incline planes were used by the Egyptians to build the pyramids. Screw. A screw is an incline plane that is wrapped around a cylinder. Examples of screws include fasteners that are used to attach wood or metal, lifting screws that are used to lift heavy objects and dig holes, and bolts that are used with nuts to keep things together. Wedge. The wedge is two inclined planes put together. It can be used to split things apart, such as an axe, or to hold things, such as a doorstop. Lever. A lever consists of a bar that rotates around a pivot point called the fulcrum. Levers make work easier by applying force over a longer distance. This means that the same work is done with less applied force. Examples of levers are a seesaw and a human arm. Wheel and axle. A wheel and axle is a wheel attached to a rod or stick. It works similarly to a lever in that, considering movement about the circumference, the distance the wheel circle moves is much greater than the distance the small axle circle moves. Pulley. A pulley is a wheel with a groove or a rope. When something is attached to a rope, it can be moved by pulling on the other end that has a loop around the pulley. Keep in mind that the amount of work needed to move an object a certain distance is always the same. Basically, that means that it will always take the same amount of work to move an object from point A to point B, no matter how you get it there. The simple machines do not change the total amount of work that you have to do, but they change how it feels to do that work. Let's make sure that we understand this equation. Force is any push or pull, such as gravity pulling on a falling apple or me pushing the table. Watch me as I push this book across the table. Was I doing work when I moved the book? Yes! Each time a person pushes or pulls an object and moves it, that person does work. How about when I push against the wall? It does not move. So am I actually doing work? No, even though you are straining yourself, the wall does not move, so there is no work involved. What are the units of force? They are called Newtons, which is named after Isaac Newton, who watched an apple fall from a tree and came up with the concept of gravity. The units of distance are meters. Work is measured by a unit called the joule, so Newtons, symbolized by the letter N, Multiplied by meters equals the unit joule. The other thing we want to learn about these simple machines is their mechanical advantage, or the extent at which a machine makes work easier for us. Engineers use this concept when deciding what size of simple machine is best for a particular activity. For instance, an engineer may decide to use a crane, which is a lever, to leave a heavy steel beam at a construction site. They can use mechanical advantage to answer the following important question. How long should the lever arm be and how much force should be applied at the other end to lift this steel beam? Which do you think would be easier? To lift a bowling ball straight up above your head or to roll it up a ramp to the same height? Most people would agree that rolling it up the ramp would be easier. Now, remember that no matter which method you use to get the ball to the specified height, you actually do the same amount of work either way. Let's say I apply 8 newtons of force and lifted the bowling ball up 2 meters. The total work of moving the ball up 2 meters would be, as defined by our equation, 
the product of 8 newtons, the force, and 2 meters, the distance, equals 16 joules, the work. Now, if we roll the ball up a ramp that is 4 meters long, with what force do we have to push it, in order for the total amount of work to equal 16 joules? The answer is 4 newtons. So, with the RAM, which coincidentally is a simple machine known as the inclined plane, we were able to cut in half the force we needed to exit on the ball. The mechanical advantage of the inclined plane is the force to do the work, divided by the force to do the same work with the assistance of a machine. So, the mechanical advantage is 2. Engineers use the concepts of simple machines to invent many mechanical devices, like knives, door stops, hammers, scissors, and cars to improve everyday challenges. Check out the lesson on the Teach Engineering website, and then apply what you learn in our associated hands-on activity, a simple solution for the circus.